it's time for a different continent to shine for the next decade. And I say this with full right being from India, where we've had two glorious decades of growth. But I see the future being in Africa. China and India will still grow, and in the dry bulk industry, they already have 65%. US only have 10-2% of the import in the dry bulk industry. Um, actually, we're more optimistic about the US, as you know, they're all hardworking people and very adaptable and flexible, and it seems to recover quicker than other economies. Um, apart from that, I'd say in Europe, like the uh, strongest growth prospects, probably Germany. Of course, have uh, South America as well coming quite strongly, which a lot yeah. of people have been touching on today. Yeah. You know, do you feel this optimism in Asia is, is overplayed in any way, Leon? Not at all. I believe that over the next uh, couple of decades, the population will grow dramatically over there, and people will demand a better standard of living. Is that advancement should uh, depend on merit and not on nepotism. Uh, you know, in the Greek uh, society, a lot of times, you know, we hire people because they're cousins of cousins. Uh, whoever hears Greece, uh, I mean, they, they think that we're just about to... Uh, to... Uh, collapse? Collapse, yeah. <laughs> we have just started on a down cycle, which is going to be brutal. I'm sorry, I can't give better news. <laughs> I think we clearly have fewer shipping banks today than we had back in 2007. But I think other sources of capital have taken up that slack. I mean, we've seen a tremendous uh, inroads of the export credit agencies. We've seen the public equity and debt markets come in, and we've seen private equity and private debt come into the industry and fill the gap. But I think capital is going to be more discriminating going forward, and it's going to congregate towards the high-quality owners with modern tonnage and, um, and scale. And be sure, we will see international binding regulations on climate, on emissions, on environmental standards. So I think the poster child for the way to develop the oil field is Norway. When you look at the discoveries that were made in the late 60s in the North Sea, and you look at the industry that Norway has developed because of that, I think Brazil wants to do the exact same thing. Because right now what we have is that uh, uh, we have a very big program, as I said, that we are going to have in four or five years. Uh, 30 billion barrels of uh, proven reserves to develop. This is a very big, 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 big uh, resource base. It's huge money at stake, and relatively young people as us are able to participate in this. I think that's a great opportunity. Yeah, I don't think it makes a difference, you know, if you have an MBA or not, as long as you attract good talent and people who are willing to, you know, work a lot.